All right, now every four years, over 9,000 athletes compete on behalf of 78 countries in what is known as the biggest Jewish sporting event worldwide. Joining me today in the studio to discuss this year's upcoming Maccabia Games is Amir Pellet, the chairman of this year's competition, and Miron Shoyerman, the IT manager of the Games. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you. Now this is a really exciting event for the Jewish diaspora and also Israelis as well. How long have the Maccabia Games been going on and what's the history behind them? Yeah, the first Maccabiah was 1932. That means that we are 85 years old now. And we are 20th Maccabiah. The only time that the Maccabiah was stopped was during the Holocaust. So from then, except those two, three Maccabiahs that couldn't come up, until today, every four years, the Maccabiah is taking place in Israel. Now, now, why was this event created? Tell us a little bit about that. That's a kind of a Jewish uh, uh, Olympics, namely that uh, uh, it started from Europe, it started in Turkey, it started while uh, Nordo, Max, Max Nordo was the one to say, hey guys, we, don't, we are not only books, we are also muscles and we have to be there as well. We have to prepare ourselves in sports and he was the one to establish the idea and Yekutieli was the one to establish the Maccabiah system. And the Maccabiah, as I say, Jewish Olympics. Now, it's interesting because I think that, I mean, there are Israelis and there are Jews who are professional athletes, but, you know, there certainly needs to be an environment for those of us here who may not necessarily be in the NBA or, or the European Championships to, to have a place to play sports. So I know we're all really excited about this event. Now, who is competing and what countries are going to be joining in? Well, we have uh, this year around 80 countries and we are going to be around 10,000 athletes and other participants in the games from large countries like the US, Australia and Canada and small countries like Curaçao and, uh, wow. and Hong Kong and other small countries. Who knew there was even a Jewish population in Curaçao, right? Yeah, you find out that there is a Jewish <laughs> population all over. If wow. we are talking about 80 countries, those are 80 countries that Jews can come from. Right. Okay, they cannot come from Iran, but uh, they come from those small communities. We call them something like lost communities because right. they are very small and we are making all the efforts to bring them over to let them have this, uh, you know, Jewish experience. Well, what's so exciting about it too is, is beyond just the sports, it's the ability to be able to meet so many people from communities around the world and to kind of join in this, this fun kind of game environment. So what events should we be watching out for? First of all, let's start with the, the opening ceremony. The opening ceremony is going to be 6th of July in Jerusalem. We are 50 years of Jerusalem United and we are doing it in Jerusalem and it's going to be a great event. It's going to be very emotional. You are going to see about 20,000 Jews, part of the 30,000 that are going to be in the air in a, a Teddy Stadium, wow. singing a tikva in about 80 different uh, languages or 80 different uh, accents. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something uh, uh, amazing. And we are talking about an event that will create the opening of 14 days of about 5,000 sports competitions. And if we are talking about highlights, let's say that in the second week of the games, four Olympic uh, uh, gold medalists are going to be in the Wingate swimming pool competing uh, uh, each other. So we are going to have very high level of sports com competition. And there are going to be have... some new sports and countries as well, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, we are going to have uh, lacrosse, which is a new sport wow. for, uh, for us and uh, the new countries that uh, I mentioned before. And uh, we count every Jew around the world who wants to compete in Israel. And we also women's field them. hockey. And women's I mean, field hockey. Can't forget that. We, we are taking care of both of the athletes, uh, athletic uh, time and also the recreational time. So they're going to be, the they're going to get to travel around Israel a little bit as well too, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. We, we are talking about numbers that you know, if we're talking about tourism, or mm -hmm. if you're talking about the economy and sport, we are talking about 150,000 bed nights for athletes only. And we are talking about the same number, more or less, for those who accompany them. We are talking about 15, uh, 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 1,500 bus transportation every day. 
We are talking about 650,000 meals. I mean, and especially it's, for Jerusalem, a city which is trying to grow economically, uh, you absolutely. know, this is a really big deal for so many business owners as well. Absolutely. Now, I understand because there are so many people that are going to be coming, there's a lot of new technology that's being used to kind of enhance the experience and make sure that everybody can film from their iPhones, right? So right. tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so we have three major uh, technology systems. The first one is called Mechstar, Maccabiya Star. Mm -hmm. Uh, made by Taldor, which is our main operational uh, uh, system. We have mobile and web systems uh, for every single uh, outlet to uh, be able to approach all the information about our games and mm -hmm. location of the games. And we have a very interesting system, which is for our staff, so we know exactly where each of our staff is, so we can communicate with them for every need. God forbid we don't need them, but <laughs> if something happens. Right, of course. I mean, because there have to be, you know, there are security concerns with so many people being Absolutely. in this one place, so it's very important. Well, unfortunately, we ran out of time, but thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank you very much. And I can't wait to check out the Maccabia games myself. Thank you very much. Thank you.